Hello Aries, welcome to your November 9th to 15th reading. I hope you had an awesome week. It is snowing like crazy where I am and ugh, <laughs> I'm just not loving it. So, um, so last week's reading, the message was love is in the air. So let's take a look and see what this week looks like. All right, that feels good. We don't have any flyer cards, but that is okay. Interesting, interesting. Okay, Aries, let's see what's going on. So there's a real mix of like ups and downs in this reading. Um, I feel like uh, this week could start off a little stressful. Um, I feel like your anxiety might be acting up right now. Uh, with the Nine of Swords coming up. Uh, I feel like this will be more towards the beginning of the week. Um, just a real interesting mix of cards. Um, let's see. I'm actually going to pull just a few more to clarify some of this. Okay, okay, okay. Uh, this makes more sense. So, um, this week is going to be, um, definitely a week of growth, uh, a week where you're going to be making decisions and there are going to be some ups and downs, but ultimately do not worry. The chariot is crossing everything here. So success is assured. It's just going to be a bit of a bumpy ride this week, which is fine, which is totally fine. Um, I'm just going to touch base on some of the final cards I pulled, um, just because it's such an odd mix. Like I'm going to have to show you guys. So we've got the seven of swords, which has a not so trustworthy guy. Then we've got the nine of cups, which is the luckiest card in the deck. And then we have the tower. So, um, it's a real interesting mix. So, I don't know, the tower re was reversed. The way I'm reading into this and the energy I'm feeling with this is, um, it might be time to really look at some of the people around you very objectively. So, I feel like there might be a friend or a business partner, somebody um, that might not have your best interests at heart. Um, and I guess shit hits the fan this week is what I'm trying to say with that. But the big lesson here is with the nine of cups, the luckiest card in the deck coming up, um, know that you'll be fine. If this has to do with anyone in business, you'll also be fine. Like everything will turn out okay. But it's almost the feeling I'm getting is you've almost been turning a blind eye to this situation for a while. So um, I feel like maybe you've been ignoring the red flags. I feel like um, there's just someone in your circle, someone in your life, or maybe it's a situation too where you know you've had to address it and you kind of let it go hoping for the best and now it's just kind of, now it's going kaboom, right? So um, again, not to worry, the Nine of Cups did come up. So you are protected and with the chariot also coming up in this reading, everything will be okay, but it's definitely going to be uncomfortable. Now is a time for you to protect your assets. I feel like you really have worked hard. You've got the page of pentacles, the nine of pentacles. 
This has to do with opportunity, abundance, and also being an entrepreneur. So if there's anything you've been working on and um, anything you've been working on that's important to you, just make sure you're protecting yourself. So um, really, really interesting Aries. Uh, this it's just funny it reminds me of uh, something that i've been going through i'm not an aries but i'm wondering if some of the other people involved are aries so um very very interesting but all in all a very successful week um you are going to have some decisions to make i feel like that have to do with money or business something like that we've got the ace of swords and the sun also coming up the ace of swords has to do with growth and um like a spiritual journey a spiritual awakening so i just feel like this week is going to be filled with life lessons so um really I mean, you might be listening to this and thinking like, ah, oh, this sounds like shit, but honestly, it's, it's going to be, it's going to be a good week. There are some really good lessons to be learned here. So, um, again, we've got the page of pentacles and the nine of pentacles, very abundant cards, very abundant cards. So, um, but again, I feel like there is a need to make sure you're protecting your business, protecting your money, just protecting what you worked for. So, um, and no, this doesn't have to be big and dramatic or some kind of a huge blowout or anything like that, but just be mindful. Don't let people take adv advantage of you, Aries. So, um, yeah, with the wheel of fortune and the chariot, when they come in together, like you are protected, you are going to be just fine. So let me pull a few more cards. So yeah, this feeling of stress is is definitely coming up. Again, this could have to do with some of the stuff that's going on, but ultimately you have decisions to make. You have a lot of options. Um, and the strength card and the 10 of cups are coming up. So like you have the strength to get through this. It's no big deal. And ultimately everything is going to work out fine. Everything will... Um, be very harmonious, your family life, your personal life, your business life, everything. By the end of the week, everything's going to seem, it's almost going to seem like the stuff you've been dealing with happened ages ago. It's like you're going to look back like, wow, that was interesting. Um, but yeah, everything looks really good, Aries. Um, let's pull more cards I really think this is this is really a week of self-discovery boundaries might be a good word yeah boundaries is a good word I just pulled the justice card death the nine of wands the knight knight of cups so um just yeah definitely just be mindful of those around you be mindful of who you give your energy to this week and um, other than that, Aries, I think you're going to have a fantastic week. And I almost feel like you need to give yourself a pat on the back at the end of this week. So well done, Aries. You're going to have an awesome week. Make those decisions. Protect your assets. And yeah, have a good week. It's going to be awesome. So um, I will see you next week. And I guess that is ta-ta for now. So bye-bye.